read the title yep five houses I own five debts that's a no-brainer and his background is a Melbourne based kitchen supply salesman all right age of 61 the financial planner is uh, you know asking them to put their money on buy properties whatever X Y Z. now they bought these property uh, I'm just skimming because I've read it through a decade ago oh, I've, I think I've skimmed through way very very fast let me just find out okay I've got it here they bought a property a decade ago and I've had to sell it after losing 100k I don't know per year or whatever but um you know, he has a, you know, I'll go order, skim down, skim, skim, skim. He has, like, literally, will sell three units, a two bed better in Footscray, and two better in Bentley, and one better in a CBD. Now, the one better sounds like, you know, um, nobody wants to live in the city, so it's a very tough market, and rental as well. Um, maybe, I uh, I might be wrong, but yeah, because of the working from home and X, Y, and Z. Maybe international students will get in, but they don't have the history. Okay, Bentley, like I said, it's an expensive suburb. I wouldn't have any two clue. Two better in Footscray. They all sounds like apartments, right? He'd probably take the safer route, or might be, I might be wrong. Maybe just units, you know, like maybe in townhouses, right? Uh, let's just say not, because this is, doesn't tell me units, right? What is classified as units, all right? Okay, so I'll be back about it. I um, mean, just mentioned, you know, blah, 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 blah. It does mention about this, but I don't understand why they still mention about this. Because, you know, if it's, you know, it mentioned here, right? Landlord, okay, I have to, starting from there, right? Landlords will pay an average 1300 extra on the land tax. Although the tax experts say it can change to 1675 Dollars increase on land worth a uh, million dollars. Family homes are exempt. All right, I, this doesn't make sense. Like I said, I made the video a couple of days ago. Let me pause. Now, as today date, all right? This is today's date, seventh of March. There is no fake news, all right? Like I said, all right. Land tax current rate. Now, this doesn't mention about family exempt for family home or investors. But when I spoke to my landlord, his accountant, and um, you know, just I, I don't want to go through it, but this is what's the the rate. So this is not zero point one percent. So they claim that if you if you pay up to uh, if you have a, a land that's it's worth a million dollars, you pay up to around a thousand three hundred, a thousand six hundred bucks. I don't see any difference here. It's more than that, right? So basically, you know, uh, six hundred thousand, whatever, all right? Then you got 0.6%, go up to the next uh, bracket, uh, you know, uh, for 600,000 plus, all right? Then we go to another bracket, 1 million plus is $4,650, 0.9%, million X, Y, and Z, and so on. It's basically you're going to pay, you know, tax, whatever. And I'm just going to quickly skim through, you know, this is like absentee owner surcharge. This is basically you're paying like a mortgage here. But I don't understand why. So I already did the land tax based on $600,000. You pay $2,250. So I don't understand why the article has claimed a million dollars, right? A million dollars. That's roughly cost around a thousand six hundred dollars, if I'm correct. You guys can correct me. What about if he's the absent owner, right? So this assessment, if we change it twenty twenty three, yeah. Calculate. Nine hundred seventy five. All right, fair enough. All right, let's see absent how much it will cost. Holy moly! All right, so twelve say thirteen k sounds better. The list is not. 26k mamma mia like i said this article is bs this article was published that time this is like very very dangerous for people to know 
You guys can call me fake, whatever, but that's the fact. It's a fact I showed you guys. This is outdated for... So this guy... Has to fork out a lot, right? So let's just say... I won't say 600,000, but... I've got... So I already have the 0.6% of a 800,000. So it's 4,800. So as I mentioned, 4,800 based on 600k, right? Whether you guys want to go through this or go through that, but I have to base on this one. What, what did I say? 4,800? Please, guys, don't correct me here. I don't know. I'm a bit sleepy at the moment. So $7,000 per year. $7,000 for the next 10 years. $7,000, that's 70k to pay off this COVID debt plan till 2033 70k all right that's not even include your interest principal insurance maintenance capital gain tax you guys I just sell I'm saying um it is not worth it at all but I don't understand that article make it 100k for five houses this is 70k man so I don't know what to say, but yeah, what you guys thought, huh? These articles is like that. Like I said, I made a video in the past, but it just shows you how bad it is, you know. Now we'll go back to this uh, this particular guy. What he's saying is that now he has to sell all his properties, right? And then he's gonna put like he's he's supposed to be retired. He's sixty one years old. He's supposed to have all his money to his what's that word? Um, super all right x y and z now all i can say here and i don't want to bash him down all right is the fact that you put houses on units and apartments they're great when they're brand new but over time and the decade time they devalues nobody's going to purchase those houses in a high premium price um second of all He's trying to play safe to play units and not much maintenance. Of course, you don't have to. You have body corp freeze as well. They don't even mention in this article how much is body corp. But let's pause the video. So, all right. So, I got the body corp fees is around 2000 to 4000 per year. Where townhouses are typically around $1,500. Now, here's another catch. Like I said, I don't know what's his situation when he bought those houses, whatever. Last 10 years ago, ever since with the UK uh, fire cement sheet uh, burning, it made any of those apartments who has built, or units who has been built with a uh, fireboard that is a flammable material, they had to remove it and install a non-flammable cement sheet. And that's going to skyrocket their body corp, whatever the price it is, I'm not going to say anything. But here, that's, that's how critical thinking I am on this video. I hope you guys do understand where I'm coming from. And um, thanks to, you know, my, my, my supervisor's been telling me of his apartment where they had to check, get rid of all the flammable cement sheet and his body corp is going to be skyrocketing. And, you know, it's the more being occupied, it is what it is. Like it can be six hundred a week or thirty dollars, so if we can say six hundred a week, wow! I just did my maths. If it's six hundred a week, fifty two weeks, thirty one k, thirty one k divided by twelve months, two thousand six hundred. You gotta be kidding me! It's like you're paying a bloody mortgage. Jesus Christ! I don't know what type of house, depending on their size, age. Uh, it can be a penthouse with $600, but god damn, that's a lot of money. God, I don't know what to say. I don't know why I'm doing this video. But I hope you guys understand. Okay, how about this? We'll make it to 300 or 200 a week, all right? I think three or 200 a week sounds a lot better. Yeah, I think 300. All right, 15K. That's a lot of money, but anyways. Um, 12 months. Hmm. Am, am I doing my right maths here? Uh, 
times 52, you divide it by 12,300 a month. God damn, is my right, is, is that all right? Is, is that my maths or? Shit, that's a lot of money. No wonder why this uh, old, uh, gentleman is losing money. He has a pay body corp. Let's just say times five property. 78k. Bloody hell. You guys can't understand where I'm coming from, but yeah.